2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Genesis Scottish Open is about to kick off. Hello, I'm Luke Elby, alongside 2002 PGA Championship winner Rich Beam, who's in the booth. And it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi, Luke and Rich. Looking forward to following these two players again as they reignite their rivalry. I have a feeling we'll be in for some more exciting golf as these two battle it out. Well, I'm certainly looking forward to following along with these two. This is a rivalry that could be one for the ages. Can't wait to see what sort of excitement they generate. That's tidy. Well, what are we looking at with their approach shot, Rich? Green sits slightly above the players. There's bunkers dotting the front left and one just front right. If they do throw it to the left and long, it will come down a pretty good sized slope back onto the center of the green. All right, going with a little bit more club. Let's see. Pretty good choice. The wind was howling, but that didn't matter. Okay, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. This is on a great line. Beautiful Money. shot. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So yes, birdie on the first, great job. He finds himself in a share of seven. And as we head to the second ridge, the players heading back towards the first tee. Strong par four here, just under 500 yards. There's a bunker down the left-hand side you must avoid if you want a clear opening for your second shot. Narrow fairway up there, a good tee shot's a must. Oh, Luke, that was a stonker there. This one from about 160 yards out. <laughs> Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Uh oh, this needs to go a little bit right once it lands. And he's hit that inside the range. And this effort by Justin Thomas. He's got some work to do, but he's only one back from his rival. And here we are with the third shot. Ooh, that almost went down. OK, let's get back to it, shall we? And he's down there. You got a read? This one's 13 feet from the cup. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Nope. Damn it. That was a gallant attempt. You know, Luke Donald once made all 400-plus attempts inside three feet on the PGA Tour. This is important. Big par putt here. Currently one under for the round. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. As we head to the third hole, Rich, uh, one of the very good scoring opportunities here at the Renaissance Club. Yes, Luke, just about 600 yards or so. Players must hit it out to the left-hand side with their tee shots. Anything right is going to go into a huge <laughs> cluster of trees where they're going to have all kinds of problems. No extra power needed on that one.
Rich, I know you've got terrific uh, history in Europe. You've spent plenty of time uh, over here. You've been revered by the European tour. You broadcast to a European audience. Uh, how special is it for you to be here at the Scottish Open this week? I absolutely love being back at the Scottish Open, Luke. Not only because of the venue, because of the fans in the game. They're so knowledgeable. You hit a shot to 30 feet, and you hear all sorts of people hooting and hollering because they know how good of a shot that was. I mean, I had a bad angle coming out of a, a rough lie, whatever it is. I just love it coming back here because it seems like they have a, a interest, a knowledge, and a passion for the game, unlike almost any fans around the world. I think that off the being in Scotland, playing over here, and having to use your imagination, hitting all the shots that are required to play well over in Scotland is imperative. And I think this is why Americans love to come over here, because it's a completely different kind of golf than what they're used to back in the U.S. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Driver What's off the in deck. front of them, Henny? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Belly has to blow on it. This is just downhill. Go Big on, go here. on, go on, go on, go on. Okay, oh my steady lord. Now. And they'll tap this in for birdie. He's currently tied for first. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. And as we take a look at the fourth hole, the shortest par four, Rich. Yes, just around the 415-yard mark, players who take out driver and drive it up into the narrow section of the fairway will get a really good look with their second shots. That's a nice looking tee shot, that one. Awesome. A couple under at this stage. Currently tied atop the leaderboard. Very, very nice. Wow, what a shot. Already had a few birdies today. This for another. And that's for birdie. Well hold. And I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Now let's switch our focus to Justin Thomas. He's happy. Just came off a birdie. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Very crafty, that shot. Love watching this player around the greens. Tied first. The fifth hole, Rich, a really good risk-reward short four. Most players, Luke, should go for this short par four, but watch out for the green because this green has got all kinds of danger on it. Twist, turns, bobs, weaves, ducks, it's got it all. We want to come around that bunker on the way in here. Good shot there. A few shots under par at the moment. They currently share the lead in this one. Yeah. 
That's a high quality recovery shot. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Back to backs, back to back to back. And that makes him tied for first. I was tied for first before. Someone dropped two shots. And the first of our short holes here at the Renaissance Club, Rich, is the par three sixth. Ooh, this is a nasty little par three dotted by some pot bunkers on the front part of it. A big one over there on the right hand side. Club selection is imperative. Hit it too soft. Just Maybe not. Thomas, who? He looks like he's having an absolute blast out there today. That was a fantastic shot into this green. Oh, good look at Birdie here. Putt is underway. Oh, look at that wiggle. Oh, just missed. Putting for a par now. Currently at minus four for the round. Look at that wiggle. It was just like me. And the seventh on the card, Rich, our second of the uh, opening nine par fives. I just don't yeah, think look, I'm a meant fairly to generous have a driving area. There's just a couple of bunkers you have to worry about. However, you find the fairway. Now your chances of making birdie or better increase significantly. That's a good looking shot there. Make the bunker. Oh, it's going to land in the back of that slope and roll off. Damn it. With speed, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now let's head over and see what JT's been doing. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Time for the fifth shot. Terrific shot. Who could have thought you'd hold it? And here we are with the third shot. He's currently tied for the lead. Oh, oh wouldn't that have been nice? Oh, my lord. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to five under par. We'll take the birdie 100% all day long. Take that birdie. Would have been so nice if that dropped, though. And after that hole, he's no longer sharing top spot. He's at the summit all alone. Rich, as we face the eighth hole, what kind of decisions do the players face off the tee? Well, most players aren't able to carry those fairway bunkers basically right in the middle of the fairway, so they have to lay up with a three wood or less, find the fairway that cambers pretty significantly from left to right. What a drive, look at that. Oh, that's got eyes for that bunker, still. Just kick left, kick left, kick left. Don't go down. Dang. That's a chunky lie. It's going to take all their talents to get out of this one.
Going with the six iron here. Uh -oh. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. Nope, we're going to travel long, 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 long. Dang. Just a little off with the accuracy there. Unable to find the green. Can't fault him there. This rough is nasty. No fault in missing the green. Bad silky touch around the green. That's how we recover. A lovely shot to chip in. Nothing like it. Good stuff. That's how Moments we like recover. that deserve another viewing. Let's take a look at the replay. Perfect distance, perfectly judged, and look at that. Straight in the hole. Leading by three strokes now. The ninth is a strong par three reach, one of the longer ones. It is. There's some bunkers on the right-hand side that you absolutely must avoid. If you miss it on the left-hand side, however, you've got to pitch uphill to a green that will slope away from you. A par here is a really good score. Looks like they've got the five wood. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, this player's dialed in. What a shot. That was a bit of a miscue. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Come on, let's make this putt. It's for a share of fourth on the leaderboard. Come on, ball. Come on. Wow, that was a And long down ball. she goes. The long range bomb. He's just asked his caddy to go get that and march to the next tee. Sitting at six under. Currently in the lead. That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Such soft hands. Well, Rich, this is the pivotal final nine coming up, and the player's perfectly positioned. They've given themselves a chance. Yeah, but I, I like the position. I like being out in front. It forces the other players to come catch you. I like their position. Six under through nine holes, but crushing it. Good-looking shot, this. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Oh, I don't think I'm going to catch the top of that enough. Which is not good because that's going to feed all the way down here. That a boy. Good shot. I needed it to land <coughs> just on the top of that ridge, so it bounced a bit Getting more ready straight to play up. their third. He's got a two stroke buffer. Nicely done. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. Just building upon his advantage, he keeps making the important plays. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. This is their fifth shot. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. 
Our current leader is up by three shots. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's Rich, go. I know this next hole is one of your favourites, the 11th here at the Renaissance Club. This is one of the coolest holes I've ever played, Luke. It's a dog leg from left to right, fairly generous teeing area. Don't want to miss it too far right, however. But the second shot into the screen, this could be the coolest green I've ever seen. It's got more movement than any other green I've seen in competition. I absolutely love this hole. That drive heading straight towards the cut stuff. This shot from about 190 yards out. Currently leading by three. Oh. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. Mm, A wonderful money. shot. A chance for Bernie here on the 11th. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Little birdie <coughs> looking here. I'd love to see how you think that's straightforward, mate. Because I'm actually going to have to aim somewhere up here. Yeah. This one started out on a good line. A wonderful putt. You can claim it. Back to back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. The 12th rich, uh, par three. Just over 200 yards on the card. You back uphill just a little bit. What really makes this hole difficult, Luke, though, is when the wind is coming directly in the player's face. When that happens, ooh, watch out. This hole is a doozy. Ooh, yeah, no, not where they wanted to go. This one's left. We're on the green still, as long as it stays. It's not going to, because it's rude. Unable to find the green on this one. Lots of greens and regulations today for this player, but not so on this occasion. And I don't think I've landed on a par three so far. Third. It's a long putt. It's looking good. Oh, wow. That must be just on the rim. Okay, time off. to return to the action. Let's see if we can get this one up and down for par. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. He's currently sitting in first place. Another beautiful hole, Ridge. This one right along the coast, the 13. Oh, this is breathtaking off the tee, isn't it? But don't let the views suck you in. Even though it's a wide fairway, you gotta hit it down the right-hand side as this fairway pitches significantly from right to left. Find the fairway and happy days. No harm, no foul there with that shot. And what are we looking at here, Henny? He's got roughly 105 yards here.
Oh, I guess they're seeing something I'm not. They're going with less club here. Interesting. That was a beauty. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. And a chance to reach nine under for the championship with this putt. Right, a little downhill. Don't want to be too far out. This is tracking right into oh. the front of this cup. Didn't quite judge the speed on that one. It was in the end. The that hill. will be a disappointing par after such a great approach shot. Still in the lead now after that hole. They say disappointing, but I'm extremely happy with that now. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. They sure do. I don't think I'll ever get one. A wonderful shot into 14. It sets up another look at birdie. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. He made the other one and it was longer than that. That's, that's same a good putt to hold any day of the week. Oh, that's going to add a little fuel to the fire of this group rivalry, guys. Massive putt. Just six feet between here and the hole. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Nice stroke. Oh, well played. Leading by four strokes after that one. Killing it. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Killing it in Scotland. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Should be hitting almost directly into the wind on this next one. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? Setting up here from about 175 yards. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. That's going to be well short still. Oh no, we might roll up. As long as it stays. It has to stay. Mm. That's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. Always well, nice to have a birdie putt. This one has eyes for the hole. Oh, well, that's some handy golf. What a time to make back-to-back -back birdies. And nice to have that cushion heading down the last few holes. We've got plenty of cushion. Now let's switch our focus to Justin Thomas. That's 10 on He's the par. He's feeling good. Just birdied the last hole. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Well, that's an impressive little chip. Great touch. And after that effort, that's how it looks. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Me, Just a few me, holes me, remaining me, in me, the me, round. Me, the me, 16th hole, done. one of the last true birdie chances, Rich. It is. Tee it high and let it fly there, Luke. Don't go down the left-hand side and find any of those bunkers. Hit it down the right-hand side, and you got to believe you're going to make, at worst, a birdie four. Not 300 bad. in. And what's in front of them there, Henny? 
Setting up go. this one, hitting into a downhill green. They might be taking a bit less club here. Um, about there. Oh, I've hit it too Opting short. For the six iron. And I've pulled it to the right. That's gone so long. Lucky I've got a few well, strokes. There's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's Exhibit A. Try to move to 12 to under use. par with this putt. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Come on, feed into the hole. Oh, ouch, that hurts. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. A birdie putter waits. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Still got in for birdie. All right, Rich, the 17th. This is an amphitheater style green. All sides kind of work back towards the green. There is a little front left section, though. When they put the flag stick over there, you have a really good opportunity to hit it in there close. Going with the five iron here. Uh oh, I is that right? I think so. I've pulled that real bad. And it's rolled out. Ridiculous. That was a little bit of a misfire, I'd say. One of the rare misses for this player day, Luke. They've been hitting a lot of greens today. Now let's head over and see what JT's been doing. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. Okay, let's get back to the action. All right, facing a little up and down here to save the par. That looked good for a long time. But it's still rolling. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. Would have liked to it to have been a lot closer than this. Ooh. Bogey putt coming up here. Damn it. Our current leader enjoys a five shot advantage. That was so close. I hate it when they miss just by like the scooch. And as we make our way to the like finishing hole here, Rich, how hole. is this 18th at the Renaissance Club? This is an absolute brute, Luke. Just under 500 yards, and you must find the fairway. You cannot geek it down this hole off the tee. There is danger both left and right. Oh, what a shot by our leader. Oh, really leaned on that tee shot. That went forever. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Wind is going straight at his back. Going with the pitching wedge here. Well... You can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high caliber. And it's all come down to this. Make this putt and win the event. Right, 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 right. Oh, 
Dang. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? It turned in a lot. All right, let's see if they can compose themselves and knock this one in. Yes, and this yes, historic tournament has yet another champion. Congratulations to our Genesis Scottish Open winner. And what a victory it was around this Renaissance club here in Scotland. An impressive victory by this player. Another beautiful win at the Scottish Open. Very impressive round. Well, they came, they saw, and they conquered. They took down a fierce rival, and that's a victory they should be proud of, Henny. Yes, Luke, we doubted them, but they got the job done, and they took down their hero. The rivalry is theirs and theirs alone, and they can boast about this on social media for, well, weeks now. On behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at 2K Sports, Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.